Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation on basic troubleshooting in M+. In this video I want to show you some very basic things that can go wrong when you get started in M+. And I want to show you what happens, what M+, tells you, how you can fix it, because oftentimes people are confused when they get these error messages in M+. They don't know what to do, they don't know what went wrong. So I want to give you a sense for what can happen in M+, by very simple mistakes, so to say, that you might encounter. So the first thing I want to show you is I have here a two-factor CFA model that I want to run and I have my data set here that's called math2 dot dot and so let's see what happens when I hit the run button. Oh, I get an error and it tells me the number of observations is zero. Check your data and format statement data file math2 dot dot and then also error invalid symbol in data file mrt1 at record one field one that's uh, sometimes something that often happens and the reason why this happens is because this data set contains variable names when you export data for example from SPSS it's easy to forget to um, uh, tell SPSS to not save the variable names to the data set and then when they end up in the data set then M plus will not be able to read the data properly so let's take a look at that data set what does it look like with the um, with those variable names so what is the problem here we take a look at that data set math2 dot dot then you can see here we have variable names in the first row and so then M plus is not able to read the data set so what we need to do is remove those variable names and then it'll be okay now I want to show you some other problem that can happen so I'm going to change the file name here to math3 dot dot I have prepared another data set that has a problem as you probably will already guess and so let's see what happens now error ah. unexpected end of file reached in data file so what is that that is a very cryptical message that um, a lot of users then are lost about what happened here so the problem in this case is that in this data file math3 let's take a look at it missing values have not been coded with a numeric missing value code and you can see that from the fact that you have these blanks here in the data set so now you don't have variable names so that's not the problem but you have these blanks here and so M plus then does not correctly read the data because it just will go over those blanks and ignore them and just continue in the next column or the next cell that has a numeric value and so then it doesn't match up the whole file doesn't line up with your variable list and so therefore um, plus says I'm reaching the end of the data file and it's unexpected there should be more data it doesn't line up with the columns that you're telling me under variable names and so this doesn't work so therefore my recommendation always is to code missing values with a numeric missing value could I have a separate video on that how to prep your data in SPSS and how to code missing values with a numeric missing value code it's very easy in SPSS with transform recode into the same variable so you can check that out to fix this problem so I'm going to show you also an example of a data set that does work so this one math dot dot let's take a look at that one also here you can see this one neither has variable names in the first row nor does it have empty cells for missing values it has negative nine as missing value code and so then M plus will not have this problem with re reaching the end of the file and not knowing what's going on because the nines will be read but they will be read as missing values if you tell M plus that nine, negative nine means missing so going back to the input file if we read that data file math dot dot that should work but we need to add the statement that says missing equals all and then negative nine for missing semicolon then um, m plus will know the negative nines are missing scores and the file will be able will be read correctly by M plus. Now I want to show you some other stuff. So 
Another thing that frequently happens is that we forget to place a semicolon at the end of a subcommand. For example, like that at the end of our variable names list, we might forget to put the semicolon. So then what happens? We get an error where M plus says variable names must begin with an alphabet character, equal sign, unable to expand, all negative nine. So you don't know what's going on. And so the reason for this message is that M plus will just continue to read your variable list and it'll say, okay, missing is another variable name. That's fine because that's um, alphabet characters, but then the equal sign is not okay because an equal sign can't be a variable name. And then all is fine too, but the negative nine here doesn't work in parentheses. And so then M plus will simply assume that your variable list continues until the semicolon is, the next semicolon is found. And then it encounters these problems with these symbols here that are not adequate for variable names. So when you get something like that, always think of the, the fact that you might have forgotten a semicolon and that's probably the most common error and it occurs to me all the time. So that's the first thing to think of, think of when you get a message like that. Then another um, frequent mistake that um, the beginners often make is they forget to put the use variable statement. So let's take that out. And then in that situation, let's see what M plus does when you don't put a use variable statement with the variables that you want to use in your model. In this case, it doesn't work at all because this is the demo version and it's limited to six variables. And so now that would mean using 12 variables, all, um, all variables that are in, in the variable list. And that's what M plus does is it uses all the variables that are in the names list if you don't put a use var statement. And so that can cause a problem because in your model, if you have fewer variables, then M plus will assume that the other variables are uncorrelated with all other variables in the model and you get a totally incorrect model. So you want to always make sure that you put the use var statement that you only list the variables in there that are actually being used in your model and no other variables so that you don't um, have this problem. Also, you want to make sure that all variables that you use in your model are in the use variable statement because otherwise M plus will tell you that um, there's an unknown variable name. If you have a variable in your model that is not listed in the use variable list, then this will also not work. I hope you, under, you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you figure out some of the trouble that you might uh, have as you get started with M plus and um, stay tuned for the next video. Leave a comment. Let me know what other uh, issues with M plus you would like to see addressed and I'll see you next time.